In this video, you'll learn how to install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on Ubuntu 2204, known as Jammy Jellyfish. First, let's verify that we have Java installed on our machine. We'll open the terminal window and run the command java-version. And we see the banner for version 17, so we're all good. Now let's download the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA. We'll open a browser and search for JetBrains IntelliJ. The second link has the download that we're after, so let's click on that. There are two versions of IntelliJ. On the left is the ultimate version, which is the paid version. On the right is the free community edition, the one we'll be installing. If we scroll down, we can see some of the differences between the two products. Ultimate has built-in support for Spring, JavaScript, TypeScript, database tools, and more. Notice the site has already detected that we're using Linux. We'll download the tar.gz file, which contains the installation files for IntelliJ. Before we install the file, let's verify the SHA-256 checksum to make sure our download was not corrupted and to get some level of comfort that the file hasn't been tampered with prior to download. Back in the terminal window, let's cd into the downloads directory. And from the command line, let's run SHA-256 SUM and the name of the download file, idea ic 2022 3one targz And that computes the checksum locally for the file we downloaded. Back on the IntelliJ site, let's click on the link that says SHA-256 checksum. The page that loads shows the checksum for the file computed on the server. We could do a comparison of the checksums using command line tools, but just taking a quick look at the two checksums side by side is good enough for our purposes. Scanning through the two values, they look the same to me, so we're good. We have an uncorrupted file, so let's install it. We could run command line tools to extract the contents of the file, but let's use some features of Ubuntu's nice user interface. We'll open up the files application, and let's go into the downloads directory. We'll right-click on the file that we just downloaded, and select Open with Archive Manager. That opens the file. Let's right-click on the folder and select Extract. I already have a folder off my home directory called Tools. Let's select the Tools folder, and click the Extract button. And our files are extracted and written to a directory under the Tools folder. So our extraction is successful. Let's click Show the Files, and we see our new directory under Tools. We'll drill into that, and then into the bin directory. IntelliJ IDEA is started by running the idea.sh file. We'll right-click on that and select Run as Program. Running random scripts you download off the web is generally not a good idea. But because we just downloaded this file and got it from a trusted source that we verified, we can feel confident doing this. Let's minimize the terminal window where the script will run. We get the splash screen and IntelliJ starts up. Let's make one small customization. For the color theme, we'll change it from Darkula to IntelliJ Light. This makes the content show up better on video. Feel free to set your theme to whatever you like. I actually like Darkula and I think it's a bit easier on your eyes. Then back in Projects, we'll click on New Projects. We'll give our project a name, we'll call it Hello World. We'll leave the language as Java. Notice IntelliJ detected our Java 17 that we saw earlier. For the build system, we'll leave the default of IntelliJ rather than selecting Maven or Gradle for now. Add sample code is checked, so IntelliJ will create some sample code for us. We won't bother customizing the package name for this simple application. And let's click Create. IntelliJ will create and load our application. Once it's done scanning and indexing, it presents us with the sample code it generated. We have a simple application that prints out the message Hello World. Let's click on the green triangle in the gutter and select Run the main method of the main class. IntelliJ builds our code, and in the Run window, we see the message Hello World as expected. So IntelliJ is installed and everything is running and working as expected. 
If you found this video useful, please subscribe to get an alert when new content is released. Thanks for watching, and remember to always begin secure.